Well, how do SPIs relate to the safety case? Here's the idea. The SPIs instrument the safety case. Here's a safety case where I've only included the claims and I left out the arguments for illustration purposes. And let's say the top claim is the vehicle is acceptably safe. And that's because it avoids crashes and some other things. And it avoids crashes because it detects objects and some other things. Underneath the detects objects, there are some other things that sound a little less behavioral, but are nonetheless important for safety. For example, for detecting objects, your sensors have to be effective or you can't detect objects. And one of the things having to do with sensor effectiveness is whether they're kept clean or not, because an optical sensor full of mud is not going to be able to see anything. And there also needs to be data fusion effectiveness, and that may have to do with the algorithm, but it may have to do with the implementation quality of the software, and it may have to do with the test coverage to validate the software, and so on. So a safety case is more than just here's the behavior. The safety case for a UL4600 application has to do with the entire life cycle of the vehicle, all the software, all the infrastructure that supports it, all that has to be in place to get safety, and the safety case needs to reflect that. Well, SPIs come in by monitoring the validity of the safety case claims. So an SPI is something that says, well, you said you were going to avoid crashes, but a crash just happened. So what's up with that? And it may be okay in terms of the safety case to have a crash as long as it's very, very seldom. So the SPI would collect data about how often crashes happen and compare that to a reference baseline that says, well, the vehicle is safe if it crashes hypothetically one-tenth as often as a human-driven vehicle. And you may say, okay, we had a crash, but over the fleet, the crash is happening only 10% as often as for human vehicles. So that SPI indicates we're actually doing okay on the safety case. In principle, every single claim in the safety case can have an SPI associated with it. Now, in practice, it's more likely it's a large number of claims that are spread throughout the safety case rather than literally every single one. But in principle, if you have a claim and you can figure out how to measure it, that's the opportunity to have an SPI. If you look at the structure and think about leading versus lagging, where lagging is outcome and leading is things we have predictive power, what you'll see is that SPIs towards the bottom of the safety cases drawn here tend to be more leading metrics and SPIs towards the top tend to be more lagging metrics. Leading versus lagging is not a strict categorization, but rather a spectrum of things that tend to be more anticipatory and things that tend to be more about outcomes in the operating environment.